Hi guys, I'm Jian San. In this video, I will create a progress tracker, something like a progress manager or a task. What was what does the Google call it? Yeah, the task, something like a task, a checklist to keep track of your progress to check whether your task is in progress or already completed. Uh, this type of thing is often used by project manager to keep track of their uh, stuff that they have to do and to make sure that everything is done on schedule. So what I'm trying to keep track is my revision. So I have this revision that I have to make sure I have gone through everything. So when it comes to final exam, I am confident that I could score well uh, for my final exam. So I have about you can say six chapter, six lecture to finish, but technically I have uh, eight. I have about eight to uh, eight lecture not to finish, or you can say memorize. If there's something that you use to get score, <laughs> or right, okay. So I will call this a revision progress tracker. So since I already have this. And I need to make sure that they are in order, so I will sort it from A to Z. So you can do it like this. This is one of the way. And then since this is a part of the one, you can group it. Right in Google Sheet, you can group stuff, and they could, and they would appear with this negative sign. You can, you can compress it, or you can no, not compress it, collapse it. Yeah, you can co collapse it or you can expand it. So this is quite good. And you can double click this column bar to auto fit, right? To fit the column width to the content. So this is easy. Now I need to move one at one row above to give some space for uh okay, lecture to revise to revise. Okay. okay. I need the first row as a header, so I will bow. I usually will bow my header. This here, then I have my progress, which is okay. I will start with um, schedule or oh, no start time. Okay, start time. Then I have the end time, and then I have the in progress, and this is the done once. I want to do a second time, so I will say done twice. Okay, since I don't need, um, I don't need a lot of the row, so I will just control shift down, delete everything below, and then I can do the same for column as well. But I may need more column later. Okay, so for this in progress done once, done twice, I need a checklist, so I will use this checkbox. Done. And okay, so after that, I will center this. You can use this to center it, or you can use a shortcut. It's called Control Shift E. Right, so after this, this done, you can since this is a time, you would try to use this, or I will try to use just date. So since it's just date, I will change this to date, and. Alright, I'm going to show you something quite easy, and if you have a lot of things to change at once, you can use. So you will try to go to find edit, and find and replace. So well, and since I already selected this range, so you can see that it's B1 to B, from B1 to C1. If it's not the range that you want, you can always select a new range. So I want to change time to date. Just type in the information, I will change all. Or you want to change one by one to make sure that everything is replaced correctly you can use this since i'm pretty sure that there's nothing wrong with replace all so i would just use replace all hopefully on the 9th of december okay so this is the expected end date and i have this thing for the fuzzy inference system already done once uh it was in progress and this intelligent agent is in progress, but it has never done once yet. And I attempt, I'm planning to do twice. So to go through the next time to make sure that I still have 
the information retained in my mind. As a summary for this video, what you have learned is maybe you can copy and paste stuff in the Google Sheets, all right? And then you learn to group a number of rows, and then we created the header. You can freeze the header row, just pulling this down. And we have changed format from an automatic format to date format, a specific one. You can also use a more custom format like this. Amazing, apply, beautiful. Right, and if you don't like dash, you can also use, uh, where did it go, the format. Yeah, you can change yourself. Just remove this dash to space. Right, done, okay, there you go. Right, and then you learn the fourth thing is insert checkbox. And I'm planning to do this a uh, new sheet creation uh, quite often because oftentimes I create a new sheet, a very powerful sheet, but I didn't record how I created it. So whenever I have a new sheet to create, I will record it and maybe I won't do any commenting on that, but you could learn a few techniques here and there how to create your own advanced level Google Sheet.